Why is the gurdy this way and not the other way around? If you're playing the melodies with your left hand, is it a left-handed instrument? Are all gurdies left-handed? No, 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 no. You can't say it like that. If you think about right-handed guitars or violins, they work the exact same way. Shortening the strings with the left hand and operating the bow or the guitar pick with the right. So first of all, the gurdies that most of the people are playing, including me, are right-handed. But I do understand your confusion. When I played piano for more than a decade before I started the gurdy, it seemed funny to me to suddenly play the melodies in my left hand. Because on the piano the left hand usually plays the bass notes and a few chord fillings, while the right hand plays the melodies in the higher octaves. By the way, the research that I did for this video has led me to Google for the left-handed piano. I didn't know this thing even exists and man it is so confusing. If you want to see it, check the links in the description. But back to the left-handed gurdies. Do they exist at all? Yes, they do. You can see them on a lot of old drawings in museums, for example. Some of them do have the handle on the other side. But I guess this is more due to the fact that these instruments were self-made at home and this is just the way they made them. Those people didn't have a lot of information how to make them. They just saw one and just made them. <laughs> but in real life, left-handed gurdies are rather rare. You do hear of them once in a while, but that's only for like super special orders. But I don't think I have ever seen one. Maybe only in a museum. But let's be honest, most left-handed people won't get a left-handed piano either, right? Because both hands are about equally as busy playing the piano. But when you start the gurdy, would it make a big difference if you played it this or the other way? Let's try to look on it on a neurological point of view. The right part of the brain is mostly doing the creative thinking, while the left part of the brain is mostly busy with the logical thinking. But when it comes to body movement, they operate in a crisscross, which means that the right brain part operates the left body part and vice versa. And by the way, for left-handed people, this is usually the other way around. But saying that the creative right part is good for melody playing and the logical left part is good for cranking rhythms isn't exactly right either. Because for example, when you're learning an instrument, the brain parts are building up bridges in between them and also in themselves. Playing an instrument seems to be more like a very complex teamwork of the brain parts and the muscle memory. So I don't think we can find a definite answer here. But there's one more thing to consider here. When you're learning a song on the gurdy, you're usually starting with the melody in your left hand. And when you internalize the melody into your muscle memory, then you can start to put the trumpet patterns on top. So for right-handed people, it seems more logical that the left hand is doing the more passive, learned figures, while the dominant right hand is doing the active patterns. And I guess that's the only and biggest advantage I can think of of playing the hurdy-gurdy that way as a right-handed. I happen to be right-handed, so I never really questioned this topic so much. But if I were left-handed, I probably would try to learn the gurdy in the right-handed way. It will be easier to buy a right-handed gurdy than to get a left-handed gurdy crafted. And also, each time you want to try out a specific gurdy, you're basically screwed. Because probably you won't find a left-handed version of it. But I also can't stress enough that honestly, I don't think it would have been such a big difference for me, having been a pianist before. A friend of mine who used to study neuropsychology sent me a link to a study about left-handed musicians. Again, you can find the link in the description. The conclusion of the study is that there are no significant disadvantages to playing a right-handed instrument as a dominant left-handed. Once their muscles became stronger and the muscle memory adapted to the particular instrument, there was no other big difference to the fine motor skills of playing the particular instrument. This actually got me question the left-handed guitar market. Because after hearing about the study, left-handed instruments started to seem a bit like a silly marketing trick. But the study also says that at the end of the day, it comes down to personal preferences too, if you're going to choose an instrument this or the other way. Hallo! <laughs> so my gurdy maker says that there was an accordion player that was so used to playing melody with his right hand that he insisted on getting a left-handed gurdy so that he could still be able to play the melodies with his right hand. In this case, it makes sense to get a left-handed gurdy, obviously, if you don't want to learn it the other way around. But if you're a complete newbie, then try to learn it in the right-handed way. If you play the hurdy-gurdy, both of your hands are very busy. And if you have troubles playing a right-handed gurdy, it's probably not because of the fact of it being right-handed. Alright, I hope this helped. Have a good week. Bye bye!